there could be up to 20 or 30 minute delays, um, but the park is working as best as we can to minimize those delays. Here are the big projects on tap for this summer. Starting in the north, there's the replacement for the Yellowstone River Bridge just east of Tower Junction. East of that, near the Lamar Valley, a stretch of the road washed out by last year's flooding is still just one lane. That will be expanded to two lanes. The road from Old Faithful south to West Thumb is being repaved for 22 miles, and work continues on the Lewis River Bridge along the south entrance road. One of the biggest projects is the replacement of a key bridge over the Yellowstone River. It's badly needed. Here's why. It's the concrete on this 60-year-old bridge. It's crumbling. Most people may not even notice that the work is underway. That's because a new bridge, more than twice as long as this one, is going to be built over there, quite a ways upstream from here. That way, it will not interrupt traffic. The price of this project might also catch your attention. The new bridge will cost $118 million. Just two years ago, the estimate was slightly more than $71 million. The park says the rising cost of labor and materials, like concrete and steel, is to blame. As for what you can expect to see on these roads this summer? People can expect heavy equipment in the area, workers, uneven surfaces. Um, and uh, we just recommend to drive slowly over these sections um, to minimize damage and, and provide for the safety of other visitors as well as the construction crews. But Vares says there is a trick to avoiding the worst of construction season. The best time to get to the park is as early as possible. Um, the lines will be shorter getting into the park as well as at any of these construction zones. Weather permitting, this project on the northeast entrance road, which necks down currently to just one lane, will be completed by this fall. However, a permanent plan for the road connecting Gardner with Mammoth is yet to be announced. Near the Lamar Valley in Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer, MTN News.